Hey everyone, I'm Uttam Singh and in this video, I'm going to talk about zero knowledge proof. So what actually are zero knowledge and why everyone is talking about zero knowledge and how it can be the future. Today, we are going to have a simple understanding of what these zero knowledge proofs are. I will explain zero knowledge with three best simple examples that are available right now on the internet. So let's get started with our first video. But before that, subscribe to the channel right now and also hit the bell icon and also follow me on Twitter and LinkedIn and DM me if you have any doubt. So what is ZKP? So ZKP stands for zero knowledge proof, right? So let's break down this three terms, right? One is zero, the second is knowledge and the third is proof, right? So why it is called zero knowledge proof? Because in this, we are going to prove without conveying or revealing any information, right? So we will be, so we will be proving things without revealing any information, right? That's why it is called zero knowledge. We are not going to convey any information. We are not going to reveal information, but we are going to give a proof, right? So let's move on to our example and then you will understand what it is. So in every example, we are going to have these two things. One will be a prover and the second will be a verifier, right? So, so as I said, like zero knowledge is proving something without conveying or revealing any extra information, right? So in every example, we will have a prover, we will have a verifier, and then proval will prove to the verifier that I know a certain thing without revealing any other extra information, okay? So I, I know that this sounds confusing, but let's move on to our simple example. So here in our first example of ZK, we have two people, person A and person B. And as I always said in our every example, there will be a verifier and there will be a prover, okay? So here A is a prover. He will prove something to B, right? B is the verifier, okay? So now what is the case here that we have two person A and B and also there is a box as you can see here, right? So what happens that A, Person A is claiming that I know the password of the box B. This box is unlocked, right? So this box has a lock and there is a password. And the A claims that he knows the password of this box. On the other hand, B states that I don't believe you, right? If you give me the password, then only I will believe you that you know the password. So person A tells that I will not give you the password, but I will prove it to you that I know the password of this block. So now person A will prove to person B that he knows the password of this box without even revealing the actual password, right? So how will person A do that, right? So what will happen now is that person A has an idea. What is that idea? Person A unlocks the box since he knows the password. He tells person B, he gives the box to person B and he tells that, put some secret code inside the box, right? So write a piece, write in a piece of paper, any secret code that you only lose. Nobody other in this world knows that secret code. So write that in a piece of paper and put it in the box and then lock it, right? So A gives the box to person B and then person puts any secret code, whatever he wants. He puts it in the box, he locks it and then he returns it to person A, right? Now what will happen, right? So as, as I said that person A is claiming that he knows the password, right? So if he knows the password, he will be able to unlock that box and he will be able to reveal the secret code, right? And if on the other hand, if A doesn't know the password, he will not be able to reveal the secret code because you know, B is the only person who knows that secret code, right? So, so what will now happen is that A who is claiming that he knows the password, right? So he will, you know, just unlock the box since he knows the password. So he will just, you know, read that secret code that B actually put it inside it and nobody in this world knows that secret code other than B, right? So person A will tell that secret code to person B and then person B will believe person A that yes, now I believe that you know the password of this box because if you didn't know the password of this block, you wouldn't be able to unlock it and you wouldn't be able to tell me the secret code, right? So this is what zero knowledge is in simple terms, like, right? you know, he's not even revealing any other extra information, but he is proving that, right? So this A person who is a prover, he proved to person B that he knows the password without even revealing the actual password, right? So this is what zero knowledge is in simple terms. Now, if you didn't get it, we can move on to our next example. So our next example in zero knowledge is Waldo, right? So what is this Waldo example? So Waldo is actually a cartoon name, okay? So there are two people again in this example as well. Here we have a father, here we have a son, right? You will, you will not be able to see son because I am on it, but yeah, you can see his hair, he is there. So 
so again there are two people one is father and the other is a children right so one of them will be a verifier one of them will be a prover okay so what what is in this case what is this image about right so in this image there is a character called waldo so here father and son are talking right son tells his father that you know where is waldo and the father tells that yes i know yes i know where is waldo and then sons asks him that please tell me where is waldo right so the father said that no i will not tell you where actually is waldo in this picture but i will prove it to you that i know it so then sons asked how will you prove it to me right so now again we have a prover that is his father he will prove to his son that son is a verifier so he will prove it to his son that he knows where the waldo is without even revealing the exact position of waldo right so how he will do it right so what now father will do is father will take a big paper right It's big paper in the sense that it is not equal to the size of this image right so you know keep that in mind this paper is not equal to the size of the image right so and then what he will do is he will put a hole on the center of this paper right so you can see that in the center of this paper there is a hole right so now what he will do is he will put that picture on the top of waldo's picture so he will take this big paper which has a hole and he will put it onto this picture okay so what will happen is that since he know where waldo is he will place the big paper the blank paper which has a hole in that manner that the waldo is visible on that small hole right and the sun what sun will be able to see the sun will only be able to see the character from that hole right so this is only he have to prove that he knows where he is but he is not revealing the actual position of it right so what will happen now that he has proved to his son that he knows where waldo is in this image right in this particular image where waldo is but now what happened that sun will not be able to tell that actually where waldo is because he doesn't know because this uh, the paper he took was a bigger paper right bigger than the size of this actual image so where where will the sun put this image right so he doesn't know where actually waldo is he will not be able to put the image in that way that the waldo is visible from that hole because you know the size is different right so this is how the zero knowledge works again the father who was a prover he has proved to his son that he knows where the character waldo is located in this picture without even telling them that actually here he is like so he has proved to his son that you know this is where waldo is but haven't revealed any extra information so this is what zero knowledge is let's move on to our third and the last simple example so in the example number 3 we have again two people person a and person b and again there will be a prover and then there will be a verifier right so what is the case of this example right so so here we have number of bits right so so as you know the computer only understand bits that is you know numbers in the form of 0 and 1 right so here are here we have a lot of bits right and then what is the case here is that person a knows that there are a lot of bits but person p doesn't have any idea that there are you know this number of bits right so what will happen now is that person a will choose two bits right that two bits can be anything right that can be 1 1 that can be 0 1 that can be 1 0 or anything right only two bits right that will be in order he will choose it okay and person a knows what those bits are but person b doesn't know what the bits are right as you can see in the diagram as well that person a has chosen these final bits 0 and 1 but person b is unable to see what are those final bits right right so now what will happen is that person b will ask some questions to person a like you know person b is asking that are those two bits different so then person a he tells that yes those are different but so the person b says that i i think that you are faking it right you are just making a fun out of me and those actually those two bits are different right and you are lying person b states that no i am telling the truth but the person b doesn't believe it so the person b tells to person a that show me the bits right if you are telling right then show me the bits but the person a states that no i can't show you the bits right i i will not be able to show you the actual bits but yes i will be able to prove it to you 
that these are actually different okay so again in this example we have a verifier and we have a prover right so is here person a again is a prover and he will prove to person b person b is the verifier so he will prove it to the verifier that the bits are different without even actually revealing the actual bits okay so again you see that person b is not able to see what the bits are he just only he she is only just holding these bits one will be zero in this end one will be one in this end right see just holding those bits she doesn't know what is what is here what is here what if there is zero here if there is one here she doesn't know anything about it okay so now it's her choice to actually if she wants to switch the position of these two bits if she wants to she will switch the position and then she will ask the person here that whether she has switched the position or not right and only there are since two numbers it will be easy task right so so in the first step this lady doesn't switches the position right and then she just ask the person that whether i have switched the position or not right so since person a is able to see but person b is unable to see it okay but she she knows that whether she has switched it or not so here in this step it is clearly visible that person b hasn't you know switched the position of the bits and they are they are as it is like what person a give it to person they are as it is like that only right and person see that no you have not you haven't changed he is able to clearly visible this time person b has switched the bits right so suppose she has zero in the one left hand and right hand she has one and then again she has switched it and now they have she have one on the right hand side and zero on the left hand side as you can see in the diagram as well right so now she again asks the person a that whether that whether she has switched the position or not this time you have switched your position right so this will again happen a thousand of time this thousand of time you know the person b will you know one time switch it and one time not switch it right and since these two bits are always different right these to always there is zero and one so now she knows that you know if she does it like a thousand times there is very 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 less probability that person a is going to guess it like a thousand times he will be able to you know bluff it right so there is very very like 0.0001 probability that he will be able to you know bluff it right so after thousand of times she has you know done this experiment she has reversed it she has not reversed it and then you know the person is always able to give the right answer now the person b is convinced that you know these two bits are different but still she doesn't know which in which hand she has one and which hand she has zero right she doesn't know the position of it but she is not convinced that you know there is there are two different bits one and zero and these two bits are different i'm pretty sure about it because i have like tested it a thousand of time and the person a is able to prove it to me like a thousand of time right so now the person b is convinced and so this is what again zero knowledge is it is about proving that he knows he knows the password or he knows the proof of that thing without conveying or revealing any other information and this actually solves the verification problem right and why we use computers for this because you know it takes a lot of time for these computations right in this example as you see that she has done it like a hundred of times like a thousand of times right and this is not possible for a human to do it so these were actually very simple examples of zk so if you don't didn't know anything about zero knowledge before this video i hope you you know now understand what actually is zero knowledge technology and this zero knowledge technology has a lot of benefits and a lot of use cases some of them are privacy some of them are scalability and also identity management right? for this video this is all about it but in the next video i'm going to discuss the use cases and of and in the next video after that i'm going to tell you about what is the difference between optimistic roll up and zk roll up and again we will move on to other topics about zk so i'm going to create a zk playlist right so if you like this video this was the first video of this playlist if you liked it and now you understand what zk is then please you know share it with your friends and also share it on linkedin and twitter and just tag me you can also follow me on twitter and linkedin here is my twitter id and here is my linkedin id if you have any doubt feel free to ping me i will try to you know reply you and also stay tuned for the next video and do subscribe to the channel right now and also hit the bell icon thank you so much take care bye bye